So as you can see from the title of this video, we're gonna see how many turbo cans it takes to completely paint a truck, and then we're gonna continue on our budget build four-wheel drive rat rod. Let's go! It is go time. We are keeping the patina on this. I love the patina on this. Unfortunately, it does not match at all. There's a ton of bare metal spots from the parts that we've replaced. Cab was actually sanded down because he was gonna have this painted real nice. So the cab doesn't match the blue. The blue doesn't look great. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paint all this black. I'm doing just spray paint though. And then what we'll do is I'll go back in here later and sand the black off. You can actually just take brake clean, wipe some of it off. Basically I'm gonna have the same look that the Rat Porsche has to get like a decent base. We're gonna just spray the whole thing black. I think it'll be fun. I've also wanted to do it. I wanna see how many cans it takes to do a whole truck. So uh, let's go. Let's get to spraying this baby. Can. We almost got the whole truck done with one can. All right, we gotta do the other side though. Woo, it stinks in here. Let me get my light set up over here real quick. Second can down, baby. <laughs> Second can down, we're basically done. took three cans and it was only eight minutes and that included moving my light around opening the garage door and a couple other things so eight minutes three cans and of those three cans i also sprayed the inside of the bed i kind of sprayed up underneath some of the fenders as well you probably could have done it with two and a half now i will say i'm going for a patina look so this is going to end up getting sanded down so it'll kind of have like a like a rough exterior to it kind of like how my porsche is so i didn't really want super heavy coats if i was going to paint this truck black i would probably do one more coat on top so probably four cans total if i wanted it to be like a nice paint job those cans are 9.99 each so it's a pretty damn good you know bang for your buck i think anyways really really excited that i've always wanted to paint an entire vehicle with them and i finally did it but for now we are going to continue on with the footage of mounting our seats and then we're going to try and find out where the hell this thing won't run let's go i said in one of my other videos i'm in this really cheap somebody commented in the video they said how cheap are you in it i said oh i think about 2500 bucks they said so is this another budget build for the channel i said well i guess it is so here is the budget build lifted rat rod in this video i'm gonna try and figure out why the hell it is not running in the last video i replaced the fuel pump went through all the grounds i've done all that it is still not running i'm gonna go through everything again check fuel filters check fuel lines we got to have something simple it was running and then it sat outside for a very long time so it has to be something from sitting we also are getting ready to leave right now even though we just got here i found a set of seats that i need for it on facebook marketplace so we're gonna hop in my truck and hopefully we can get a set of seats for this i think they're out of a ford van they look really nice in the pictures but 
We all know how Facebook Marketplace is. You don't know till you see. So let's go do that. All right, on our way to go get some seats. Um, this isn't super close to my shop, but it's always a good day to cruise in the truck, baby. So went to meet him at where we were going to, sent him a message, said I'm here. I waited there about 15 minutes. Luckily it was next to an O'Reilly, so I went and got some stuff I needed to get at the parts store. No email, no show. So screw that guy, he can kiss my ass. Uh, but anyways, let's get to work. I was, I was really excited to get the seats in, start making brackets for it and whatnot, but uh, I guess we're gonna dive into the fuel pump right now. On the last video, one of my bolts had broke when the hood, where the hood hinge goes. These hood hinges suck. I hate Ford hood hinges, but I think I can make it work. So I went ahead and welded another bolt on there. It should be okay. While that was happening, I got a message from the guy who left me stranded with the seats. He said he had a car breakdown. He said he was real sorry. The good news is he's going to meet me real close. So we're going to see. I told him, I said, I'm not leaving until you're there because, <laughs> you know, he stood me up like an asshole. He said, oh, that's no problem. So uh, he just messaged. He's over at the gas station. So let's go over there real quick and see if uh, this round doesn't go better. We got him, baby. I think they're going to work out nice, too. Let's get him in the shop. Check it out. We got him. They look great. Um, he no-showed on me at first, and I was cussing. I was not happy. I said, this guy sucks. He called me like 30 minutes later. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry. My car broke down, blah, blah, blah. Ended up meeting him. And uh, these are exactly what we needed. They're tall, which is what you want on a Ford because they kind of sit down real low. Got these metal brackets. I wish they had a normal foot on them, but they don't. But that's okay. We'll just make our own feet. These are like for a van or whatever where they click in. Uh, but we'll just weld some feet on them and then we can bolt them in. But these are going to work out perfect. This is exactly what we needed. So let's start mounting them. So seats look great. I wanted them because of how tall they are. I threw them in the cab. Naturally, they're too tall, which is hilarious. But the good news is we can always cut these down. I'm going to go ahead and cut right along this brace right here. And I think that's going to lose like six inches, which should be enough. If for some reason that isn't enough, I can actually unbolt this whole bracket and then just build my own brackets off of the tracks in there. But I think I can still make these work but i'm gonna cut them up first just in case and uh, if they won't we'll just unbolt them and make our own but let's cut some shit all right let's try it out four-wheel drive truck <laughs> very happy with those i just got them tacked right now i'll end up having a plate come out from here and then we'll run some bolts down it but that'll work just fine i'm gonna go ahead cut this chair up get it in there as well and pretty excited about it. these are gonna work out nice they're pretty good too i don't hate them they don't look bad at all sweet baby we're gonna do the exact same thing we did on this one give her the old whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh. richard put like a put like a sword or something like a whoosh, whoosh. Do something cool for swans, Jesus. Uh, anyways, we're gonna cut this up. Seats are in, sit in pretty. I really like the way it looks. Still gotta finish up my mounts, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Running out of time on this video, as usual. We are moving this video to Fridays instead of Sundays now, so I gotta get stuff done a little bit quicker, but that's okay. 
The goal now is to figure out why the hell it's not starting. I had a bunch of people comment on my last video. I said, put a new fuel pump in, still not having any luck. A lot of people said, check the fuel filter, especially if it's sat for a long time, which it has. So I'm gonna crawl under there, see what it looks like. I think if it's the one with the stupid plastic clips, I'm gonna have to work on it next episode because I don't think I have those little plastic clip removers, but let's find out. Hey news, just climbed under there. It is just a normal screw in filter. Let's do that without trying to get uh, fuel all over us. Okay, got under there. You can see by the puddle, I started to crack open the line to change the filter. A bunch of gas came out. It doesn't smell great, but it's not bad. It's not varnished. So what does that mean? Do I have a bad fuel injector? I don't know. I'm not gonna do anything else on this truck because we gotta get the video done, but let me know what the hell that could be. I assume it would be an injector. I guess my injector isn't working because I obviously, the fuel pump is working. I can hear it kick on. I have fuel to the fuel filter. I cracked the line on the side of the motor, not on that side. So that means it's going through the fuel filter and going out. So it's gotta be uh, an injector or something, right? I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I cannot get this thing figured out why it isn't running. New fuel pump, the fuel filter looks fine. It's gotta be a fuel injector, but I'm not 100% sure. You guys let me know. You guys are much better mechanics than I am, especially when there's thousands of us that can kind of brainstorm on it. Let me know what you think we should fix on the next video because I am not sure. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please do it now. Ooh, I wanted to add before we get done with this video that Holly Ford Fest is this week it's friday and since we're doing a friday upload it's probably going on right now i am obviously not there i have been building the mustang i partnered with holly on it and they've supplied a bunch of really awesome parts i've partnered with them and i was planning on being at the show I've had a bunch of family stuff come up my son actually has an oral surgery planned i'm certainly not going to be 800 miles away from home if my son is going to have surgery so i will not be there i will end up making that up to everybody that wanted to see it we're probably gonna end up doing some sort of like open house or maybe just a car show at the shop so whenever we get the mustang a little bit farther along it kind of be fun to bring people in here they can see projects that we're working on in real life and just not in video you know not only not only the mustang but all this other cool shit i get to build all the time so i've been talking about doing a car show for a really long time and since i'm not making it to holly ford fest it's probably a good time to do one probably early next year maybe late this year i don't know but yeah i want to say i won't be there i wanted to say why and uh yeah thank you very much for watching peace love ya